Hello Aries, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching. Not every Aries reading will be for you. Let's jump right into the reading. Spirit angels, guys. For Aries, spirit for the Aries that have someone in mind. The person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with at this time spirit. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Aries? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Aries? Wow, the Ten of Cups. This is all about happy ending, emotional fulfillment, happy family, happy life. What are they thinking about when they think about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? Eight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. So effort, time, energy with the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone that's working hard, diligently, um, taking their time, being very like focused and determined. But the Four of Swords is someone that doesn't really take any action or communicate. They think, they, they reflect, they heal. And there's a page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So it could be that this person that you're dealing with is working hard on something, but hasn't been able to really take initiative or take action. Maybe they're waiting for the right time. Maybe they're just hesitating for whatever reason. So let's get some more insights here. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Four of Wands, oh yeah, this is definitely like a happy home, a happy life with the person that you love. What else, what else with the Ten of Cups? It's, this person is definitely thinking about a future with you. Yeah, there's the Ace of Cups. Whoever this is, they see a future with you, Aries, and they think about it um, when they think about you. This could be somebody that you meet um, in the near future as well, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you already know, but whoever this is, they definitely see potential for more. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Sun, oh yeah, they're definitely working on making this happen. Whatever happiness they have in mind, they're working on it. Four of Cups. And I think they're working extra hard because they don't want this to not go anywhere, I feel. I think also when I see the Four of Cups or the Eight of Pentacles, I think of someone that they don't want anything but this. They're not interested in any other opportunity. They're not interested in any other person. But whatever it is that they're working on. The Chariot. Cancer Energy. Yeah. This is definitely somebody thinking about coming forward, um, being on a certain path, making certain moves. It's, it's very planned out energy here. The High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this is something that's happening outside of, like, um, like you're not seeing it happen. It's happening behind the scenes or this person's just secretly working on something. Maybe that's why they're so quiet with the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here for Aries? Spirit, why is the Four of Swords here? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn er energy. I was going to say Aries. So me about the Four of Swords. Move this down. Why is the Four of Swords here? Three of Swords. Mm. So either this person has been hurt in the past or perhaps there is um, a situation here where your person is thinking about not hurting you. Yeah, Five of Swords, Conflict, and then the Seven of Wands. So I don't know if this is with you specifically, Aries. There's a Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if this is conflict specifically with you or conflict with another person or conflict in another situation. 
you know, I, I see both ways. If you have a history with this person, which we're going to dive a little bit deeper into their energy in a second. But as of right now, this could be somebody from that you already know or you don't know at all. So I'm trying to keep, you know, think this in mind when I'm um, interpreting. But I feel like with the five of swords, the three of swords, this is very painful conflict. This is someone that hurts another person or is hurt by a person that was not playing fair, was taking advantage, etc. Deception as well that leads to pain, to heartache. Um, so I don't know if this is something that happened with you in the past. Maybe your person is thinking about hurting you in the past or being hurt in the past. Or if this is just what they're trying to avoid now, maybe they have a history as well of um, being in situations that weren't really the best. Because I sense a hesitation here with the seven of wands. Now this could be that, like for example, if you're in that group where this person hurt you, in the past, then they are probably expecting you to kind of have some sort of boundary or protect yourself, guard yourself from them. Maybe you um, are blocking or resisting anything from this person. But if this person has been hurt in the past by other people, it could be that they're being very careful now when it comes to you. So, you know, there's two different ways that you can look at this. So let's look a little bit more at your person's energy. Regardless of which group you fall under, the Three of Wands is telling me your person is kind of waiting. Spirit, tell me about the overall energy for this person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What is their overall energy when it comes to Aries or this connection? Overall energy. Bountiful harvest. So yeah, this is that future energy. I, I really feel like this person sees themselves with you in the long term, sees a future with you whoever this is yeah new beginnings and so again the energy of they want to start something new but they can see the potential for more bottom of the deck is moving forward that's that kind of cancer energy with the chariot they could be wanting to move into a new cycle with you make a move towards you maybe there is a situation here where they have to physically visit you uh, maybe they're you know at a distance from you um, this could also be that they have moved forward from something in their life or you have. Whatever it is, it's leading to a new beginning. At least that's your person's energy for something to lead into a new beginning with you. Um, but not just a new beginning just to start something. A new beginning that leads to more. Can I get one more please for this person's energy? Yeah, distant horizons. So this is like a, almost about like your dreams becoming reality. Fantasies coming to life. Wishes being fulfilled. That's what your person's energy is all about. Is like making this a reality, you know. There's journey at the bottom of the deck. So again, this energy of moving, movement, uh, moving forward, etc, etc. Do I want to take one of these now? Yes. So let's look at what this person would tell you if they could at this moment. Spirit, what would this person say to Aries if they could? What would this person tell Aries? They could tell Aries something right now. What would they say? What would, tell, what would they tell Aries if they could, Spirit? I look for you everywhere and I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, so I feel like this person's been thinking about you for some time. Now I look for you everywhere. This card sometimes tells me that this is that someone could be dating multiple people trying to replace you or um, not replace you, but like almost recreate you, you know, like they're looking for someone that reminds them of you. Kind of weird but that's kind of what i go with this card a lot of the time i look for you everywhere i'm also getting like you know if you see this person at the gym at work at school etc they're actively seeing if you're there disappointed if you're not <laughs> so it's interesting because i feel like i still get that energy that this could be somebody completely new 
or someone from that you already know. You know, I, I haven't been able to narrow that down. What else do we need to know from this person's spirit? What else do we need to know? Okay. I'm taking action. Okay, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I'm heartbroken at the bottom of the deck. They're definitely taking action because we keep getting, um, or I have the chariot, I have also uh, the eight of pentacles, which is a very active energy. We'll have to see what their intentions are in a second, but. I feel like they're taking action, they're just waiting for the right time to act with this three of wands. Yeah, there's a magician right after that. So it's almost like they're waiting for the best time to you know, move forward or make their move. What else do we need to know about this person? I don't know if this person is actively like moving right now because I have moving forward and journey here. So I don't know if they've moved from somewhere, like left a place, a job, etc. Intense, profound and earnest. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have fire in their chart, but that could also be for you. I think this is just their passionate energy of like taking action you know being very motivated and united cooperation and harmony this reminds me a lot about this ten of cups like uniting with you being with you having like you know this ten of cups four of wands that they desperately are looking for harmony also makes me think that maybe this person wants to fix a situation that hasn't really come out very like uh, other than this conflict energy here with the three of swords but i don't really see it in any any of the other cards this energy of fixing something healing something i mean it could be especially with the four of swords which is a card about healing and it came out with the three of swords but um that's really the only energy there i feel like your person's focus is more on a future the long-term future with you that they could possibly have let's look at their intentions towards you Spirit, what is this person's intentions? What are their intentions towards Aries at this time? Genuine intentions towards Aries. What are their genuine intentions towards Aries? The Fool, new beginning, yeah, taking a risk, a leap of faith, into something new what else what are their intentions the page of pentacles yeah the emperor at the bottom of the deck there you are aries so very clear energy i think this is someone that just wants to kind of shoot their shot here um make you an offer the page of pentacles is a small offer though so it could be something like let's go get coffee let's go have something to eat you know a date um, but I feel like there's a little element of like a risk here with the fool. Almost like they're taking a little bit of a, of a risk to make you this offer. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Yeah, the eight of swords. Because they're scared. There's like, the, they're taking a risk because I think deep down they're fearful, scared. Um... And they could be scared for many reasons. You know, it could be scared because they are scared of rejection. Or they could be scared because maybe um, they don't know what you'll say, what your reaction will be. I think, honestly, when I see um, the Eight of Swords with something like the Page of Pentacles, I think instantly of rejection. Someone being scared um, or of being told no. And it's very interesting, too, because I feel like they... They definitely are thinking of, it's almost like they don't want to tell you or there's an element of like behind the scenes energy with this page of pentacles that I'm getting. Like they're going to ask you out for coffee, but they're not telling you that deep down they're hoping that this ends up being a lifetime thing or a very long term relationship because this person is very intense, um, very intense, very passionate very motivated with this fire sign energy um they're actively looking for you taking action you know can't stop thinking about you 
it's very intense energy and i think it's because they're driven by this fantasy coming to life by making their dream a reality for some reason whoever this is <laughs> whether this is someone from the past or someone you're meeting now they definitely see a future with you like that's it that's what i'm looking for that's what i want otherwise i'll leave it here aries thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.